Welcome to the Fail Forward podcast. The purpose of this podcast is change the negative stigma around failure into a positive. Failure is only a negative if we do not learn from it and we give up. Welcome back to the Fail Forward podcast. So today I'm going to be talking about winging it versus self-development and what balance you need of each in your business or your life. So I spent many a years, as we joked about in my office before the business went under, about me winging it. So as I previously said, I failed all my GCSEs, I left school and went out to the world of work. And I then started a business at 24 and I hadn't got any business experience. I had, the main experience I had is my dad being an entrepreneur. Uh, He was a generally one man band. He ran different businesses, small businesses. I had that experience as a child, um, but really I didn't do any other business development after that or any self-development or anything. So I started at the age of 24 and what I did is I just looked at what other tree surgery businesses were doing and basically just went, well, he's there, his clients, that's what he's doing. I'm going to try and emulate those kind of things. But you never watching some that what something was doing is different to actually learning what they're doing because you're just seeing from the outside within. So we used to joke in the office quite a lot that um, I was winging it because I'd make it up as I went along, really. We'd take on more staff. We would keep going and I want to put some context into winging it winging it doesn't necessarily mean you're just completely just doing it you know you're blagging it but you're just learning on the job you're creating that experience and in an essence we're failing forward because you're just going right okay does that work does that not does that work does that not right let's just go and jump in the deep end and make it happen and it worked for quite a while. I mean, 10 years it worked for. That's how long we were running the business and we grew it from naught to 47. So an element you could say winging it worked, but it didn't because ultimately it went from naught to 47 to then nothing, losing everything, minus figures, selling our family home. So winging it only works for a certain amount of time. And then as I previously alluded to in other other episodes, um, Jeff my coach came in um, and he said, Henry, I want you to read this book. And I said, oh, no, 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 I don't do reading. I don't do reading. Uh, reading, you know, in, I didn't realise at the time, but now when Jeff psychoanalyzed it, because I failed all my GCSEs, I had closed that part of my life. That's it. Learning's failed me. I don't need to do learning. You know, it, I didn't do very well at it. I'm not not academic all these kind of expressions and my really poor mindset traits. Yes, I had a good mindset. I was positive. I was hardworking. I was determined. But I had really poor mindset around self-development. So I said to Jeff, no, I don't do learning. He said, look, Henry, you know, because at the point of Jeff coming in, I was desperate for someone to come and help me. So we were, the business was already failing. I didn't know what to do. Jeff came in and he said, look, Henry, if we're going to work together, you need to do some self-development. And I remember the first book I read was One Minute Manager Meets the Monkey. And it's all about how to manage people. And at the time in the business, I had quite a few members of staff and I was the guy with the cape. And when I mean I was the guy with the cape, someone would say, Henry, this is broke. Or I remember one of the things, Henry, I can't reverse the trailer into the yard. So I would jump in and go, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll reverse the trailer into the yard. And what I was doing in that is I was disempowering that member of staff to work it out. I was going, I'm the guy with the cape. Yeah, I'll come and fix it. And people would go, oh, you're great at doing that, Henry. And they'd say, there's a reason why you're the boss. And again, I had an ego and I thought, yeah, I am. I'm the, that's, the, that's why I'm the boss because I'm, do, you know, I can really solve everyone's problems. And as I was reading this book and realizing this, so many light bulbs were going off in my mind of, oh, okay, so I'm disempowering my staff. If I actually get them to do it and push back when they ask me to do something, they'll learn themselves. You know, I know that um, I met a guy the other day and he said, if my staff have a problem, they've got Google, they've got YouTube, they can work it out themselves. And it makes total sense because as soon as you work something out yourself, then you're empowered to keep working things out for yourself. You know, people are problem solving. Yes, everybody needs a bit of guidance from time to time, but as human beings, we can work stuff out. So I started reading books and then it started to make me realise that I was improving myself. 
and I was reading, I was going on courses and I was developing and suddenly I was, I was knowledge hungry. I was wanting to learn everything about business, read every single business book and I was filling my brain with lots and lots of knowledge. And unfortunately, we couldn't save the business by this point because it was too, already too far gone for me to, to get the knowledge right. But that's why I wanted to do an episode about winging it versus self-development and really how much of each you need. Because on the flip side, because I'm very gung-ho and just gets want to go get stuff done, I also, in my property journey for the last year, have met lots of people that have gone on courses. So I, I do training with a company called Progressive Property. It, Rob Moore, who is, is the co-founder with Mark Homo, is my mentor. And it's a fantastic training business and they train people how to become property investors and to succeed in property. And now I've met people now who are the opposite to me and they'll go and do every single course. They'll be self-development, 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 learn it all. And they'll be getting their ducks in a row and they're trying to get everything done before they go out and get their first deal. But the unfortunate thing with that is, is that if you're not having a bit of wing it attitude, as Rob Moore says, start now, get perfect later, then you're not learning. You're not failing forward. You're not doing what we've been talking about in the whole series of episodes is that you're not learning from anything because actually you can keep reading a book, you can keep getting your ducks in a row, but then you're not going out and doing it and getting the experience and then and then learning on the job. So you need to have an element of fail forward, going out and doing it, and self-development and I think the right mix is 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 really uh, an art and if you can get the right mix that's when you really really get some traction in your businesses like just think of the amount of people I've heard it before someone said oh I had this really great idea and I was trying to I was investigating I've never heard of it happen before then I was getting all my ducks in a row and then bam someone else has had that idea and they're out there but that company might have had that idea at the same time but they've decided to just go and trial it be getting testing it and going out and and failing forward and that would be one of the worst things is to have an idea but you're getting your ducks in a row and it never comes out and then you lose traction you're not ahead of the curve you've you've missed the curve completely because you've been getting your ducks in a row and that's really what I wanted to emphasize in this episode that you need to have a bit of wing in it and you need to have a bit of self-development and understanding it and getting your ducks in a row because and that's might be where you find a business partner, somebody that's got the technical knowledge and someone that's got the, the that's not so risk averse. And it might be that you just have to add that to it. And I can certainly use my own journey since I've been in property a year ago. You know, I've gone from from naught to quite a lot in qu quite a quick succession because I've got that wing it kind of attitude but this time round because when I started the business 14 years ago the tree surgery business I did no self-development when I got into property I wanted to be the opposite so now I've got four mentors in property I've got so I've got uh, Mark and Rob and then I've on Kevin McDonald's mastermind no money down I'm on Kevin Paneskis, um service accommodation mastermind I've spent lots of money on training in the last year. I've done the opposite what I did and now I'm getting some really great traction. We are, we've got five deals that we've already got. We've got a few more in the pipeline coming up and we're creating success in the property industry really quickly because I've got what I believe the right balance of wing it and self-development and, and getting that right. And I think it's really important that you look at what you're doing and think, okay, am I going out and pushing myself? I said it in one of the previous episodes. If you're not failing or finding failure points, I remember I met a guy before, he said, I go into everything and try and fail the quickest because if I fail the quickest, I know I'm learning. So if you're not pushing the boundaries, are you really getting out of your comfort zone? Are you really pushing yourself? Because remember, failure is only a negative if you don't learn from it and you give up. So my challenge to you guys is to go out there and think about am I get doing enough self-development am I doing enough going out there and winging it and getting it done and try and find that balance and then I believe that you will really find traction in what you want to do because certainly since I've done self-development my whole world has improved and got a lot better because 
as I said before, there's a new level, new devil. You know, you you that's exactly what Rob Moore says. You know, you you solve one problem and you get another one and you keep evolving. And that's how you go up the next levels is by having that self-development. You're always going to have that can do wing it attitude. But the self-development is what gets you going further and getting the traction and creating the goals that you want to create and, and the traction you want to create in your life. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Thank you all for listening to this episode. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to the, on the platform that you're listening on or watching on and please share it with a friend. I really want to get this out there to, to help other people in their journeys. Up next, we have Daniel Fitzhenry. He is the um, Southampton councillor and we're going to be talking to him about his Get Southampton Moving strategy. Now he is, is in place in Southampton. So please tune in next time and thank you all for listening. <laughs>